Nicholas apparently likes the southeastern states because it's just not moving, folks. Here it is in south central Louisiana, right on the coast there, and it's just barely moving, maybe one mile per hour. The point is, it sent a lot of tropical moisture throughout the deep south, and it's not going anywhere anytime soon. And that means our rainy pattern will continue. If anything, I think tomorrow will be more active than today, and it might be the case on Saturday as well. Right now, as you can see, we can't see anything from full moon barbecue and alabaster. Obviously, someone turned the lights out. Otherwise, we do have a few showers showing up on the WVTM 13 live Doppler. One batch over Walker County, one over Clay County. This seems to be gradually falling apart as it drifts northward, so I'm not that confident the rain's going to get very far north. But you folks around Arley may get some of this rain, perhaps around uh, Bremen in Coleman County and surrounding areas, and it's holding together to give a few sprinkles at least to the Aniston area. Heavier thunderstorm down here now moving toward Marion. That may hold together for a while, perhaps getting up into Bibb County, portions of Hale and Greene County already getting some of that rain. I don't know that it will get all that far north, though. Your 12-hour forecast, rain chances tonight are best early on, but anytime tonight there could be a shower. Temperatures getting down to about 70 or so for low temperatures. High school football tomorrow night. Areas of rain, maybe a thunderstorm. In other words, at this venture, it's not looking all that promising. Perhaps a shower for the second half, too. Some fog, too. It's going to be very damp tomorrow night. For the Crimson Tide at the Swamp on Saturday afternoon, very warm with a chance of showers. Could be an issue during the game. 87 to kick off, falling to 82. For the Whiteout, as Auburn visits Penn State, slight chance of a shower, a kickoff. I think better for the second half, about 67 degrees. And finally, for UAB, Denton, Texas is the location. Clear skies and pretty hot. 90 a kickoff falling down to about 81. Here's our short term model forecast we go through tonight. It shows most of the stuff dying off and being gone by 11 o'clock or so. Then tomorrow dawns and maybe a little more sunshine tomorrow, but also it shows showers and thunderstorms developing during the afternoon and a few of these could be heavy. Here is your seven day forecast tomorrow. Another impact day. Good chance of showers and storms. 81 the high. Another good chance coming up Saturday and Sunday with highs and low to mid 80s. Early next week doesn't change very much at all. Fall comes in on Wednesday. Strong cold front that day will bring a change for Thursday. I have a high of 79, a low of 59. That could be conservative. It could be cooler than that. Big change coming in after the middle of next week.